guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm back in the G20 again. Uh, we're going to be talking about, as the title suggests, the driving modes that we've had flashed courtesy of Zed Coding to the car. Zed's done quite a bit of coding to the car since I've owned it. I'll leave some of those vids in the description uh, below so you can go and check those out. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're a very quick walk around of the car for you guys that are new to the channel. And yeah, we'll hit those roads and talk about those driving modes. Let's go and do it. So for those that are new to the channel, this is my G20, finished off in mineral white. Uh, I've owned this car since September 2019, so around about eight months now. Um, it's a 320 diesel, so it's got a two litre diesel engine in it. I've had a blue spark box fitted to the car, so that increases the power. And I've had a M Performance aftermarket kit fitted, which essentially is a spoiler on the back down here, a rear diffuser down the bottom, and we've got the M Performance decals on the side. I've had them done from the factory, and around the front, I've got a a splitter. Obviously, this car comes with the M Sport Plus pack, so the black kidney grills and all of that good stuff was already uh, from factory anyway. So I know that was a very quick walk around of the car. I've done a lot of content on the G20 since I've owned it. What I will do, if you are interested in how this car is spec'd up from factory, I will I'll leave a link to one of those vids somewhere on the screen right now for you to go and have a look at. And by all means, if you want to see more content on the G20, there's plenty of content that I've covered on this car anyway. So now what I'm going to do is get the car on those country lanes and talk about those new driving modes that we've had flashed. Okay, so before I start this vid, I want to give a huge shout out to Zed Coding, who was able to do a quite a lot of coding to this car. More recently, he did the ambient lighting on this car, so we've changed a few colours. And prior to that, Zed was able to code some hidden features to the car. The features that we're going to be talking about in this vid are the new driving modes. So some of these features, if you guys have got a 330 diesel or a 330i or a M340i you've probably already got some of these driving features now for whatever reason BMW didn't introduce those features on the 320i and the 320 diesel which is a bit silly because I had the same features as what I've got in this in my previous F30 now essentially what Z has done is he's unlocked a couple of driving modes namely uh, Comfort Plus, which I don't think we've ever heard of, uh, and Sports Plus. So I'm currently in Comfort Plus. Now what that does is it slackens the throttle response between Eco Pro and Comfort. I never drive this car in Eco Pro because I think the car is quite efficient anyway, so it just ruins the whole uh, driving experience. I'm always driving the car in either Comfort or Sport. So. Comfort Plus slackens the throttle response in between Comfort and Eco Pro. So if you are driving on the motorway and you just want to relax a little bit, you might want to drive it in that mode um, if you don't want to use cruise control. It also, I believe, it slackens the suspension off a little bit as well. Because this car's got the adaptive suspension, I do feel that it's a little bit more comfortable as well. That might be a placebo effect, I don't know because obviously the throttle's a little bit more slackened off, but it just feels like it's a li little bit more comfortable over bumps as well in that mode. When I then switch the car into comfort mode, I can then straight away notice a difference between the throttle response as well as the slightly more firmness in uh, the adaptive suspension. plus as opposed to just sports so out of the factory this car just came with the three modes eco pro comfort and sport there was no sports plus uh, but you had like the sports individual configuration which you know you can do various things in terms of dampers and engine response and what have you now in sports plus what I've noticed is that you can change the gearbox ferocity between comfort sport and sports plus you can also change the engine's responsiveness between comfort sport and sports plus the suspension is the same as what it was before you can either have that in comfort or sport and it's really nice now because you've got a little bit more 
features to play with and you can really tailor your G22 how you want while in, in this guise now anyway. So I've always got the car now in uh, comfort steering in individual. I've got the suspension in comfort as well because I don't really like it to be too harsh. But I've now got the throttle response as in the engine and the gearbox in Sports Plus so it's a lot more responsive. It's a real nice old 840 from the 90s that's just driven past me there. Nice nostalgic. Yes guys I do use my indicators. I'm probably the only BMW driver that uses them. But here we go. What I've also noticed in Sports Plus is that when the car changes gear, you get this little kick, you know. It mimics like a, a full-on M car, like obviously my M4 does that when you've got the gearbox in its full attack mode. And it does a, a very similar thing here. So we're going for a gear change and it just gives you a little bit of a nudge, which it doesn't normally do in sports mode. So it has really turned this car into a little bit more of a, how can I put it? performance orientated machine. <laughs> this now, with the way it's shifting gears, it's really mimicking the characteristics of my M4. I'm not saying this is an M car, by all means, <laughs> it's nowhere near it. But it's just bringing some of that DNA into uh, a regular 320 diesel. Brakes. I did overshoot that corner just then, but yeah, good brakes. What I really like about the G20 is that you can do your normal stuff with this car, like as in, you know, you're shopping, you're commuting and what have you. And then you can bring it down to these back roads and give it a bit of a hoon. And it is quite a sharp car to drive, the way it's all set up. I am going to have a little bit more work done to it. I'm having uh, the lowering springs fitted in about a week's time. So, you know, that'll be probably the finishing touch to this car, to be honest, just to get it all set up like the way I want to. Um, you know with that nice little bit of a power boost uh, with these driving modes and finish it off with those nice eye back springs in about a week's time and uh, hopefully it'll be all complete so definitely stay tuned if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for as well but yeah these driving modes I'm not gonna just say for the sake of them they do really make the car more complete I'm gonna stick it back into my sports individual mode which is set up for <laughs> it's helpful this really <laughs> so these driving modes the sport plus definitely makes a huge improvement over sport itself uh, I mean sport mode itself is again like a halfway house between comfort and the full sports mode uh, the engine is responsive I'm not saying that it's not responsive and so is the gearbox but with the Sports Plus mode in both the engine as well as the gearbox, it just works in harmony and also it just gives you that extra oomph and it gets down that road just that little bit more quickly as well as, you know, from a driver's point, it's just a little bit more engaging as well. So guys, those are my impressions of these new driving modes that we had flashed from Z Coding earlier on in the year. I would highly recommend that you do have these flashed to your car if your G20 doesn't come with it like the way mine didn't uh, only because it really does make your car more complete and you can play with those settings and you know put them through the sports individual uh, mode as well so you know you got a few more modes to you know kind of individualize I guess um, and make your G20 drive as good as it can in terms of warranty I wouldn't really worry too much about it because these modes they're hidden features part of the G20 anyway so all you're doing is you just unhiding them and bringing them into like say the modes that you know the car should have come with anyway so you won't really have a, a warranty issue with, with, with you know these sort of flashing that we've been doing to the car 
if you found this video useful guys definitely give it a like hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already uh, that just keeps me motivated you know to do more content on this and also if you want to see more content on the f82 m4 then just let me know in the comments below hopefully guys i'll see you on the next one take care bye